Hi, Rabbi Shmuley Metzger here in the Chabad Sutton Garden with a thought on this week's Torah portion, the Torah portion of Toldos. We find that uh, two children are born. One is Jacob, nice Jewish boy, sits, he studies Torah all day. And then he has a brother whose name is Esau. Esau is what they would call a wild maniac. He's out there, he's hot-blooded. Um, and Isaac, uh, their father, would like to give the blessings to Esau. And the simple interpretation is always that um, he didn't know what was going on because he was blind. But if we investigate even a little bit below the surface, it seems very obvious that both he and his wife knew that Esau was a bad character. So the question becomes, why does he want to give the blessings to Esau and not to Jacob? Nice Jewish boy. This, uh, in order to answer this question, we have to deep into one of the most uh, 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 foundational, uh, existential ideas in the Jewish faith, really emphasized by the Rebbe, the concept of Dira Betachtonim. One of the most basic existential questions is why? Why did God create this whole enterprise? And one of the answers given in the Midrash, Tanchuma, is that God wanted an abode in the lower in the lowest place of existence so in this material world to study Torah in this material world which is the bottom of the barrel in terms of the spirituality uh, God wanted to dwell there so in terms of uh, uh, the index of people who relate to the world Jacob was actually quite low because he was studying uh, Torah all day which is very important but Esau actually had potential to transform the world um, in theory anyway because Esau is such a bad character, uh, Jacob has to play both positions. He has to be the Torah scholar and transform the world. And that's what it's all about, my dear friends. Studying Torah, but at the same time to be engaged in the world, to have a job, um, and to uh, make an attempt to, to have a family, and to not live in a, in a test tube, um, to study a lot of Torah, but to also be part of this beautiful world and hopefully with God's blessing we will all be successful in making this world a dira uh, good news here and because we're on the subject of making this world a dwelling place and uh, transforming the world I'm happy to uh, report that we're just about ready to purchase our Chabad house and uh, if you would like to help us get to the finish line Give me a holler. You know how to get you, how to reach me and help us collect those final dollars so we can transform this neighborhood, our neighborhood, to be uh, more of a place which, uh, which reflects godliness and goodness trans- and together transform the entire world to be a dira betachtonim. Best wishes for a happy Thanksgiving and a good Shabbos.